Does everything around you seem gray and dull? It's time to paint the world in bright colors. For the first idea, you need colored paper and scissors. Cut out a strip. Fold it in half. Bend each of the halves towards the center. Fold the parts again. Round the edges using scissors. Expand it. You get a cute caterpillar. Draw eyes with a marker. Cut another caterpillar from a sheet of pink paper. Take two straws and get ready to start. The goal of the game is to blow as hard as possible so that the caterpillar moves along the path. Whoever gets to the finish line first wins the game. Try it, it'll be fun. And now, let's draw a little. Take makeup, brushes, and paints. Draw an eye on your cheek with black eyeliner. Draw another eye on your second cheek. Shade the lines to create thick lashes. Paint the pupil blue. Color the white part of the eye. Add some highlights with whitewash. Color the lower and upper eyelids with eyeshadow. Well, how do you like your new makeup? Wow, that's a little postmodern. I have never seen makeup like this before. Awesome! How about putting on some hats and surprising our friends? These funny folks can make anyone laugh. Although, they act as strangely as they look. That's what you can expect from weirdos. It's great that there are people you can just fool around with. And not be scared that you'll look silly. Do you have a friend like that? Write their name in the comments. Are you bored again? Wanna play a game? If I can eat all these marshmallows, my answer is definitely yes. You need a plastic spoon, rubber bands, and wooden sticks. Tie rubber bands around the edges of a few sticks. Fasten the spoon and another stick like this. Put a marshmallow onto the spoon and pull. Fire! This game is fun and satisfying. The goal is to launch the marshmallow so that it lands in your friend's mouth. Yum yum! I like this game! Sometimes it seems like adult life is stressful all by itself. How can you cheer up when your heart is sad? A big cardboard box will help you escape your sad thoughts. Put the box on the stairs. You get a fun slide with a very steep slope. I feel like climbing up and riding it. It's so great to knock out boredom and dive into my carefree childhood again. A slide for adults will handle your problems better than anything. And for the next idea, you need a square sheet of colored paper. Fold the sheet in half. Unfold it and fold in a different direction. Next, fold the square to form parallel lines. Turn the square color side up. Unbend the edges towards the center to make a triangle. Turn it over and bend the top. Straighten the edges. Bend the corners inward. Bend the rest of the paper along the lines. Insert the edges of the strips into each other. It's an origami heart! How romantic! My friends are in a fun Italian mood today. No, we're not going to fill up on spaghetti carbonara today, but we'll be playing an interesting pasta game instead. Put a piece of spaghetti into your mouth. 
The goal of the game is to string as many hearts as possible onto the spaghetti. Try it! It's not as easy as it sounds. The hardest part is to not drop the pieces that are already on it. But it's even harder not to laugh and drop the spaghetti out of your mouth. Who is the pasta master today? Me! I am! Look! I won! And now take a disposable cup and a box cutter. Cut a rectangular window in the wall of the cup. Write pleasant and motivational phrases on a piece of paper. Fasten it to the cup. Use universal glue. Insert a whole cup in the cup with a slot. Rotate the inner cup and get a pleasant wish. Decorate the cup with stars and emojis. What if you could get good luck for the whole day at the same time as you have a cup of morning coffee? Now, let's share an interesting chemistry idea. You need water and potassium nitrate. Pour the potassium powder into a test tube. Add water with a pipette. To dissolve the particles, mix the solution with a stick. Then, close and shake the tube. Take a water brush. Fill it with the solution. Cover a glass baking dish with parchment paper. Draw the infinity sign with the word love using that brush. When the water evaporates, potassium nitrate will appear on the paper. Light up the word. The fire travels along the entire length of the text. As a result, the drawing burns out and the paper stays intact. It is very interesting to watch. And don't forget about fire safety rules. Never do this without an adult helping you. For the next idea, take a piece of fabric and fold it in half. Draw a sword on a sheet of paper and put it on the fabric. Outline the template. Cut it out. Take a needle and thread and sew the two parts together. Turn it inside out. Fill it with stuffing. Color the sword with acrylics. Cover the blade with silver paint. Make the sword handle yellow-blue. Go over the outline with black acrylic paint. In addition to the soft sword, make nunchucks on a chain. Defend yourself, sir! The girls are on the warpath! A sharp sword or agile nunchucks? Who will win this soft fight? A fight with swords and nunchucks is a great alternative to a regular pillow fight. For the next idea, paint a flat brush in the colors of the rainbow. Draw a rainbow on your hand. Draw fluffy clouds at the foot of the rainbow with white paint. Decorate your fingers with heart stickers. Every self-respecting unicorn would love to ride on this rainbow. A colorful drawing on your hand will remind you that no matter how bad the storm, a rainbow will appear. It looks very bright and positive. Let's keep going. For this idea, you will need sticks and paper cups. Put four cups on the table. Build a cover from sticks. Give your friend a chance to build a second floor. By building up tiers, make a large pyramid out of cups. Whoever destroys the structure first, loses. Let's try not to breathe. This paper pyramid can collapse even from the slightest whiff. Oh no, it fell. Why am I so clumsy? Don't worry, we had a lot of fun. And here's an interesting idea of decorating candles. You need a white candle and a bobby pin. Scratch a path in the wax with the rounded head of the bobby pin. 
make a deep curly pattern. You can make thin lines with a sharper object, like a pin or a thumbtack. Apply the drawing on the wax and then make a groove here. Now take acrylic paint and a brush. Cover the protruding parts of the candle with pink acrylic paint. Leave the pattern notches unpainted. Instead of a standard white candle, you got a whole piece of art. This interesting carved candle will bring even more warmth and comfort to your house. Beautiful! We hope you're not bored anymore! Which of these life hacks for fighting boredom did you like the most? Let us know in the comments! Like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share the link with your friends! Click on the bell so you don't miss new interesting ideas from Troom Troom Select!